Hi everyone, my name is Kenny Chung and I am here representing Team Handy Route. And our mission is simple, to provide physical ease of access to those who need it, specifically wheelchair users. Now according to UCSF st statistics, 1.6 million Americans are wheelchair users and only 10% use electric wheelchairs. But that number, our target audience is not just limited to, the, to that number because as Professor Larry Rosenthal once stated, each one of us is potentially a wheelchair user because of age. Not surprisingly, wheelchair users experience a high difficulty in, in navigating urban environments, especially because of obstacles like steep slopes and stairs. Conventional mapping applications like Google Maps or Bing Maps don't do much to address this problem because they assume you can always take the route that they provide you with when there might be, in fact, unforeseen obstacles along the way. There have been solutions to solve this problem, like, for example, AccessMap and WheelMap.org, but even these solutions are flawed in the sense that they, do, they don't provide true navigation. They only tell you where these points of interest are, where there are inaccessible obstacles or convenient points of interest. Now, this is where HandyRoute steps in. We, our app contains all the features that you might expect from a traditional mapping application, like the ability to select your destination and follow a set of directions to that destination. But we will also rely on the power of crowdsourcing. We, we give users the ability to report the locations of conventional, I'm, I'm sorry, of convenient or inconvenient locations, and then we will add, that will be added to our database. It is our goal to create a community of wheelchair users driven by the mutual self-interest of helping each other get around more easily. We will also give users the ability to rate existing routes so that the best routes will become more popular and while bad ones will simply disappear from view. So in this way, by hi only highlighting the most convenient routes possible and completely excluding impassable obstacles like stairs or construction sites, Handy Route will enable wheelchair users to navigate urban environments with almost complete ease. Users won't have to worry about encountering unforeseen obstacles ever again. Now our reliance on crowdsourcing means that manpower is less of an issue for us. However, for funding, we will still rely on contributions from individual donations, private NGOs, and governmental organizations. We envision our app being used not only by individuals, but also like by groups like the Berkeley Center for Assisted Living and retirement communities. By releasing our app and letting these groups test our app for us, we hope to improve our app even more. HandyRail also has the potential to consolidate and generate information over time. And we hope to release this information eventually to the public so then we can achieve more social good. And this reflects another, an, another point of our philosophy, is that we, we believe our app is not just limited to the app itself. We hope to achieve social good by releasing our information and our open source API to other organizations and other companies. And we hope to empower other people and enable them to help wheelchair users everywhere get around more easily. Our, our team consists of me and team leader Aditya Gande, Kevin Gould, Dip, Dibya Mujamdar, and Gaurav Garg. And our efforts are made possible by our mentors, Larry Rosenthal, graduate, I'm sorry, <coughs> graduate student Anja Ademirtal, and our graphic designer, Salil Parikh. Are there any questions? <laughs> I have a question. Nice presentation. Uh, a question for you. Um, have you gone through a thought exercise of this crowdsourced data? How is it relevant for non-handicapped uh, populations, and um, and how might you extend beyond um, Handy Route as a as a product? Well, we do plan for this to be mainly centered on wheelchair users. But this can apply to uh, many other users, including people who simply need to get around with uh, wheels. So for example, people with strollers or bicycles can also use this application to uh, ease their uh, route finding. And so um, we plan to have uh, disability groups also reach out to the uh, community 
and see if we can get everyone to contribute to this project too. And then more benefits. For instance, uh, all of us walk from one place to another, and we always face situations like you have a construction site blocking the route, and Google Maps can't help you with that because Google Map has been like created three years ago. They map the full region out, and that's their data. By keeping our app completely updated by users, we can get more up-to-date information about the like, yeah, construction sites or alternate routes that can be used that pop up, and in that way we serve all pedestrians in general. Not just another, another question for you. Um, I'm an investor, so I'm looking at this from a monetization perspective, and I'd love to have a conversation with you about thinking of outside of private capital, and it feels like a nonprofit. So um, what other data can be crowdsourced from this population that is important? Is it, you know, friendliness of locations, and as a result of that, then, um, you know, you can do some local advertising. Have you thought of some other other opportunities of empowering this community beyond just routing? We thought about integration with uh, services like Yelp. So you have disability, disability ratings for locations too. And then people can choose to go to a more, say, a, a friendly restaurant or something. That's one way. Then you, you, this also helps with city planning. If we find that some routes are simply not navigable, there are no ways of getting from one place to another because there's a complete dead end in between, then we can actually report it to the city authorities and that helps in other ways as well for future planning. Uh, I'm just wondering about the uh, practical issue. Have you, have you tried this with folks in wheelchairs? And in particular, I'm wondering about the idea of mounting it so that you know, if they're in their wheelchair, they can actually use it. Uh, have you talked about like wheelchair well, mounts and actually trying this in the field? We have actually reached out to multiple disability groups, including the Berkeley Disability Group, but we're still trying to finalize the actual um, algorithm that uh, allows for our application to actually come up with the routes. But we already have a, a starting base, and so we just need to be able to get information before our application can launch. But do you, um, do you think something like a, a, a wheelchair mount so that the device can sit on their wheelchair and they're using it while they're moving, that, is that the, the vision? So uh, it, it can be used on any mobile device. Mm -hmm. So you just need a mobile, a mobile phone mount, and that, I think, uh, is already available. Mm -hmm. uh, our service helps in that because we don't have a separate device to do this. It can be your iOS, your iPhone, it could be iPad, it could be anything, and our app will just work on it. That's our philosophy. So the idea, and thanks for your presentation, the idea is really two-way, meaning it's, it's furnishing routing information to the navigator, the person who's steering the, the uh, wheelchair, and it's also collecting information based upon whether they've changed their route or, or logged in later to give you a piece of information about a new pothole. Am I right in sensing this notion of a two-way yeah, model? Yeah, definitely a two-way uh, uh, application. So what happens is at, at the end of, like, when a person reaches the destination, they're asked to rate the route they selected. And based on that, all the different, uh, the different locations we chose on the way to get them to their site get rated as well. So if they didn't like the route, all of them get downrated. If uh, over time, locations get a nice sense of, means you get a nice sense of which location is friendly, which is not. And as more users use, it, use our application, uh, we can, we can give uh, the newer users better and better apps. So the application just builds on top of itself. All right, thank you guys.